Welcome to this performance review. Today we're going to be testing the Ruji Rei EST310 wireless bridge. These are the smallest units. Um, these will max out around about 100 megasecond. We are connected to a one gig by one gig uncontended internet connection uh, for this test, although we're obviously going to near that because we're going to get uh, stuck at the 100 meg. But hopefully it will uh, give us some good results um, because we've got plenty of bandwidth available. We're going to be testing in three locations today. We're going to start off with a uh, close one of just about 30 meters. So if you um, actually have a look straight forward from here, you can ignore the um, unit in the bottom right hand corner. That's actually the EST350 that we use for this initial shot. But we're going to be heading for that highlighted area, which is about 30 meters away from uh, the main balcony where we're going to put the unit. We're then going to test ourselves a little bit more. We're going to head on over to near these uh, power uh, pylons here, which are part of the overhead power for railway line. There's a cycle path that runs down the sides. So we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit more. And then after that, that's at about 300 meters. And then we're going to head for that green area in the distance. That's sitting at about 800 meters. So that should give us three testing points. So let's just jump straight into this and see the results we can get. So here we are at the uh, 30 meter mark. Uh, the unit is being powered by battery. It's roughly pointing in the right direction. You can see the other unit up there on the balcony. Um, we do find with this unit, it is a little bit more fussy than the EST350 uh, and does need more directional um, alignment. Um, so you do just take that into account if uh, you're setting these up. Um, you might want to get a uh, mounting arm or something because they don't have a bracket that allows the different angles, um, which is what you get with the EST350. Um, so do get something that allows you to get the correct um, angles that you need to make lining up um, more accurate. One of the other things you'll notice here looking at the uh, screenshot that we've got there of the Ruji app, um, in the right hand corner there is that there's no option to go to high bandwidth. We see that if you've seen my other review on the EST350. Um, the reason is this unit, although it could sync at a faster speed, it can't actually do anything more than 100 megasecond. Um, so you don't have that feature on here. You could manually change it to use the 80 megahertz, so bundle a number of frequencies together to get uh, a faster sync speed, but you won't get any faster uh, throughput. We did try it just to be sure. Um, so we haven't shown those tests because there's no point. So let's get on to do an actual speed test here. You'll see the pings are very slightly higher. They're sitting here at about three or four milliseconds, sitting here at 30 meters distance. Um, but let's run the speed test and we'll see a result that we're gonna get. We're starting to hear we've already edged over the 90 megasecond, which I think is really good for these tiny little units. Um, and a great indicator that this can do what it says on the box, which is essentially is 100 megasecond, allowing for the overheads. So we're almost a synchronous speed. We're seeing at 94 and probably 94, this will settle out at the upload, um, which I think is a really great uh, result to start with. So let's head on over to our second site and see how we go there. This site is certainly a little bit more challenging. Um, we've got a fence, we've got uh, foliage. You can't really see what we're aiming for. You just see the roof there in the distance. And uh, we did find that this unit is a little bit more unforgiving. We needed to get a little bit more directional, uh, get it up higher on a pole to get us more in line with it. Um, and we only got um, two of the lights um, syncing up for us. So the connection wasn't quite so fast um, as we can see uh, here in the image on the right hand side from the app itself. But let's actually do a speed test. We can see that the ping is pretty solid between three and five. Uh, milliseconds there. Um, we can now see from a speed test. Um, obviously we have had these challenges here and in fact at one point when we were doing one of these speed tests a train went through. We didn't actually lose a ping even though we were obscured from view for that period of time. So look we're hitting that 92 megasecond um, and a little less on the upload at this time. So we've probably dropped maybe a two megasecond. Um, I'm not too worried about the change there with the upload, um, but I think that if you were doing this properly, you'd actually do a little bit more of um, uh, line up um, and you'd be able to be getting your full 94 here. But as I just put it up and make this work, I think this is a pretty good result. Now we're heading up to site three. This is at 800 meters. You can see the house there in the distance. 
Um, again, we found this fairly easy. We're just doing a very basic lineup um, in the direction. We haven't used any other special tools to make this work. Um, and we found at this point, because we did actually have a relatively clear line of sight, that all three lights on the side of the unit actually uh, synchronized up and we had a really a strong signal. Um, it is slower, obviously, because of the distance. Um, and you can see that in the right-hand side um, of the screen there on the Ruji app. But let's get a speed test going. You can see our ping is pretty steady, three to four milliseconds, probably better than uh, site one. Uh, but again, clean line of sight is where it's gonna help uh, with that. Let's let the speed test run. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna get a good speed. We can hear straight away we're hitting that 94. Probably gonna average out a little bit lower, but we do have a little bit of distance. We're at 800 meters, like we've mentioned before. But let's just see, it might stabilize at 94 meg. So there, 94 meg, uh, pretty solid download. And again, we're gonna hit that on the upload as well. So again, at 800 meters, fantastic little unit, simply working. We've not done any special tools, just a very basic line of sight lineup uh, in the right direction. Hopefully that's been useful. That was a performance review of the Ruji Ray E EST 310.